Thank you guys. This is a nice place here. I like this place. If I would have known it was going to be this nice, I probably wouldn't have worn my pajamas. You know? Or this condom. I don't know. I don't know why I did that second part. Celebrate my birthday this weekend? Yeah. Excited about it. Turning 34. I realize it's not like a milestone birthday or anything, but I'm excited. Finally outliving Jesus, you know? I have to die for my own sins now, I don't know the rules. Not very religious, you know? Like, I don't go to church, but I do follow God on Twitter. Like, that's close enough. <laughs> my girlfriend told me she would give me anything I wanted for my birthday if I agreed to do a little bit of manscaping first. That was her deal. I feel like that's one of those careful what you wish for things, you know? That's a lot of upkeep, and I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> Get a little bit of stubble growing on there. That's, that's gonna be a pain in her ass, right? <laughs> sex anymore. Now I'm just sawing her in half like some two-fist position. I said no. I said no to the manscaping. Because I, th I feel like if there's one thing that is supposed to look manly, it's a dick, you know? I don't want something, want something manicured, girly, wiener, you know? I want a manly looking cunt, you know? I want to think it looks like it rolls its own cigarettes. Has a couple warrants and rides a Harley. You know, that's it. Might even get like a teardrop tattoo at the end. Right? I'm gonna shave and shit. I'm gonna go like a Dick Dynasty look, you know? I was excited about it. Finally, I can play the piano while I shit, you know? It's hard to do otherwise. It was expensive too. It cost like $600 for the iPad. The only way it would have been more expensive is had I got the Apple Care insurance to cover the device, right? That stuff is ridiculous. It's probably cheaper to just adopt an Asian kid. <laughs> I figure, why mess with the warranty when I can just purchase the manufacturer? <laughs> Thank you. The message there is that rice is cheap. Anywho. Uh, I love the NFL. I got Peyton Manning on my fantasy team. It's amazing the amount of pride I experience every time he takes the field. I can't imagine what it's like to be his real dad, you know? <laughs> Archie Manning. I don't even think you can be more proud than Archie Manning, right? That guy's fathered two Super Bowl quarterback MVPs. Two of them. Do you have any idea how much his semen is worth? <laughs> top dollar, right? I don't even make people, I just want to brush my teeth with that man. No homo. That guy probably has a sock from college that could be in the NFL Hall of Fame by now. Just applied itself, you know? Christmas season is upon us. You guys ready for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a mixed reaction, isn't it? My, uh, my niece is getting that age where she's starting to get suspicious around the holidays, you know? Like, she came to me the other day, she was just like, so, uh, how does Santa get around to every single house in one night, you know? And uh, I didn't know what to say. I was like, wow, you know, uh, Santa's a hard worker. Probably Mexican, you know? <laughs> I mean, he sure knows his way around the roof, you know?
detective. I think I convinced her too, because she said instead of milk and cookies, she's gonna leave out chips and salsa. You guys are a fun crowd. I love doing shows here in Ohio, because I think people from Ohio have the best sense of humor, you know? I was driving to a, a place in eastern Ohio the other day, and uh, it's called Lincoln County. <laughs> you heard of it? Yeah. I was, I was on the highway, driving through Lincoln County, and I came upon a red light that I assumed was like the main road through Lincoln County, you know? And uh, I'm sitting at this red light, and I noticed that to the left, this road was called Licking Valley, which I thought sounded provocative. <laughs> and they did it on purpose, too, because to the right, this road was called Brownsville. <laughs> Folks, I know a joke when I see one. Right? And that's kind of a mean joke, too, because I think they were trying to taint the <laughs> Someday I'm going to go back there when I get some money and I'm going to open up a restaurant right where those two roads meet that serves nothing but freshly tossed salads. <laughs> Call it shooters or something else. <laughs> Speaking of crappy restaurants, I went to the Waffle House last night because I haven't had the shits in a while. <laughs> this, this was a real Waffle House too. Like even their hand dryers had a little smoker's cough. <laughs> I was drying my hands and it was like... <laughs> Flim to shoot out or something, you know? Because I was thinking, maybe that's where the soap is. Uh -huh. Maybe. Uh -huh. I hadn't been to a Waffle House in a while, so I asked the waitress, I was like, hey, sweetie, what do you recommend? And she was like, Burger King. <laughs> I'm trying to eat healthy here lately, but it's expensive to eat healthy, right? Seems like anything that's good for you costs like an arm and a leg, uh, which is ironically the same price as diabetes. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, that joke's pretty sweet. <laughs> I do eat a lot of fast food. Here's a tip for you. If you're going to eat fast food, always pay with a 50, right? Because most of those kids suck at math. <laughs> this works great. I went to Arby's just earlier and uh, ordered $13 worth of food, paid with a 50, they gave me my food, and $56 in change. <laughs> That's free food and gas money. <laughs> Apparently they thought I paid with a 70. <laughs> Right? I always say rare because I think you could get a 70 at Fifth Third Bank. We're not very good at math either. Right? We call ourselves Fifth Third instead of something that makes sense. One and two thirds bank. So you are laughing. You see, five doesn't go into three. That's what the joke is. Maybe you're not laughing because you just found out your bank sucks at math. It's not a laughing matter at all. Getting older. I've gotten, gotten skinny. I feel like the older I get, the skinnier I get. I'm starting to wonder if I'm even American. You know? That's not how we go. You know? I've gotten so skinny my dog doesn't even beg for food anymore. She's just like, ah, you keep it. My dog, he's always looking out for my well-being, you know, like some days he'll bring home like, like birds, you know, and, and squirrels, and uh, the other day he brought me home an application. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't think this whole comedy thing is working out. 
He's like, you ain't my manager. I don't really have a manager. Not since I fired my dog. I had to fire him. He's not really that smart of a dog, you know? Like, every time he does his business, he always wipes his feet. Like, that ain't where the poo come from, you know? Like, what are you cleaning? <laughs> Some of you didn't like that joke. You guys dog lovers? Yeah, I love I found that some people like dogs a little too much, you know? Uh, I come up with a test to determine this, uh, in case you don't believe me, by a round of applause. How many people know that chocolate is poison to dogs? And by a round of applause, how many people know that honey is poison to infants? Not as much applause on that second part. That means that someone found out about that chocolate thing and they were like, hey, we got to get the word out. Tell everyone you know. And then someone found out about that honey thing and they were like, hey, there is a way out. Let's keep this to ourselves. My name is Jonathan Craig. Thank you guys.